welcome to the 2020 Quadruple Play Draft Lottery. Now obviously, 2020 is gonna be a very different year from any other season in the 20 year history of Quadruple Play, and we'll talk about that later. At the end of this video, I'll talk about what's gonna be different in this short 60 game season, but first, Let's get to what everyone wants to see, the reason why you're watching this video, the draft lottery. Here's how it's gonna work. All 10 teams are up on this wheel. I'm gonna spin the wheel. The first team that comes up is gonna get pick number 10. Then that team will come off the wheel. We'll spin for team number nine in the draft, then eight, then seven, and so on, until there's only two teams left. And then we'll spin for who gets the number one overall pick in this draft. One last note, we have nine teams returning this year. Out of 10, we have one team that's still available as the Killer Clowns, at least as of the recording of this video, are not gonna be back. So that slice is the pink slice in the wheel. It says open team, and hopefully we'll have a replacement owner in place soon. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you watching this video right now, and that's gonna be your team. All right, let's get to the lottery. All right, and I'm gonna spin the wheel for pick number 10. Here we go. Is this recording? It is. And pick number 10 goes to the open team. All right, so whoever is gonna be our only new rookie owner in 2020 will get the number 10 pick. It's not a bad pick, to be honest, because you snake back, you get the first pick of the second round, so you really get pick number 10 overall and 11 overall in that slot. All right, here is pick number nine, and it's gonna be the defending champions, Steve Epps, PL Giants, the Pacific League Giants, they will be picking number nine. Let's spin now for pick number eight, and it's gonna be the Black Knights with the number eight pick. Black Knights, an original owner, they've been here for all 20 years. They got three trophies on the shelf, and they're hoping 2020 will bring in trophy number four. All right. Pick number seven, and it goes to the Amaze Goldhorns, or the Amaze Goldhorns. Alice, representing Europe out of uh, Slovenia, out of Ljubljana, will be drafting number seven. Alice has been in the league since 2002, so this will be season number 19 for the Goldhorns franchise. All right, let's spin now for pick number six, and it goes to, that's me, C-O-T-C. So I'll be drafting number six this year, all right, right in the middle. Uh, you know, it's uh, sometimes it's not the worst thing. All right, let's, uh, let's spin for pick number five. And it goes to IDK's on third. IDK last year finished in second place, so we'll see if uh, 2020 will be finally be the year when IDK finishes first. All right, only four teams left. Let's spin for pick number four overall. Number four goes to, it's the Wrecking Crew, another original owner. Joe's been here all 20 years. We'll see if 2020 is the year when he breaks the curse and brings in the first championship for the Wrecking Crew. All right, that was pick number four. We're spinning now for pick number three. And pick number three goes to, Epic of Gilmesh, Brennan, out in Arizona, who has one championship his first season in 2007. We'll see if 2020 is uh, number two for Epic. All right, so only two teams left, and whoever wins this spin will get the number one overall pick. So you wanna get, you want to see your name here. All right, let's see who's picking first overall, and it's gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's Spree Sluggers. Spree Sluggers, who lead the league history with five championships. They'll be picking first overall and we'll have Splinter Raptors, who finished in third last year, drafting second. So there's your draft order. You can see it um, across the top up there. Let's read that back real quick. So the draft order this year is going to be, number one, Spree's Sluggers, number two, the Splinter Raptors, number three, Epic of Gilmesh, number four, the Wrecking Crew, number five, IDK's on third, number six, that'll be me, C-O-T-C, Number seven, the Amaze Goldhorns. Number eight, the Black Knights. Number nine, the defending champs, Steve Epps, PL Giants. And the number 10 slot will go to our one new team. Your draft order for the 2020 QP Draft. 
A few more comments before we end this video. Okay, so first of all, this is obviously going to be a short season, 60 games. We normally have limits of 162 games per hitter position and 1,600 innings as our innings limit. We're gonna cut those limits down, scale them down proportionally for the short season. So that's 60 games per hitter position and 600 innings total this year. We'll see if anybody can reach 4,000 points with uh, with those limits. It's gonna be tough. I think 3,700 would, uh, would be the scaled down version of our normal 10,000 point milestone. So it's gonna be an interesting year. We'll see how teams adjust their strategies for the short season. One other change for this year, we're gonna add one more utility hitter spot because the National League is adding the DH. And with 15 additional full-time hitters in Major League Baseball, I think for our 10-team league, it'll be easy to find 10 additional hitters deserving of a starting lineup spot. So we'll reassess this for 2021. If the NL keeps the DH in 2021, we'll vote on whether we want to keep our additional utility spot next year and beyond. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, we're going to have one new team this year, as I've mentioned. And one last change that I'll mention, uh, my team has been called COTC, Corn on Ty Cobb, since 2008. And we've had good luck with this name. We've had two championships. However, upon reflection, I've decided that Ty Cobb is probably not the best legendary baseball figure to honor with a team name in 2020 and beyond. He's obviously famously racist and just not the nicest person. So I don't know yet what the new team name is going to be, but I'll be changing my team name from COTC to something new this year. And, you know, these are historic times that we're living in right now. There is obviously a lot of turmoil and uncertainty in the world right now. Hopefully baseball returning in July will bring some joy and relief and normalcy to your life. I know it will for me. And so I am grateful to all of you who are a part of the Quadruple Play League. And if you have any questions, comments, feel free to email me or post them on the League message board on Yahoo. Good luck this season. And with that, I will see you at the draft. Peace out. try this out, see how we like it. I think it's especially, all right, not too shabby.